Morning, Mutai. There's a very interesting Rama in Siman Tav Samachazayin Saif Chet. The Rama writes that Minhag Ashkenaz was not to eat dried fruits on Pesach. And there are two reasons for this given in, uh, in the post scheme. Number one, they used to dry them sometimes in ovens, the fruits, next to bread. That's number one. Number two, sometimes in order to dry the figs faster, they used to sprinkle flour on it, which is obviously a chametz concern. So because of that, Minhag Ashkenaz has become not to eat dried fruits over Pesach. However, we don't find any of the Puskim Sfaradim uh, discussing such a minhag, and therefore, according to Sfaradim Ve'aidot Mizrach, the halacha is that dried fruits are mutar on Pesach. They are, however, items that require a, a reliable Kashel Pesach certification because of certain things that can arise in the drying process like we spoke about, besides for certain fruits that the uh, that reliable kashrut organizations write in their lists that don't need a Kashel Pesach certification because they know uh, the production process, and therefore they say that. But just like any other food, you know, back in the day, food production was relatively simple and uncomplicated. There wasn't a lot of steps. Everything was pretty simple. Nowadays, everything that's produced, all the foods, everything's very advanced, and there's a lot of production lines and cross-contamination. So a person has to be very, very careful, uh, not only with dried fruit, but like we said before, to try to get everything with a reliable kashrut certification besides for things that are specifically mentioned in Pesach lists of uh, national kashrut organizations that don't require Pesach certification. Have a wonderful day.